Hi everybody, with all the closures and the libraries closed and the children being home and suddenly having all this time on our hands, it's a good time to go through what can we do to occupy ourselves other than watch Netflix all day as well as YouTube. Although I'm going to be uploading this video to YouTube, it's going to be a useful tool for you to use just so that we know what exactly is out there. So this is a, a video to show you how you can download books because you can't actually go to the library anymore to get a book from the library because all the libraries are closed in my area and as time goes on I'm sure that the closures are just gonna expand most of the parks just closed today that got announced as well today and so without further ado let me just get right into it so I'm already logged in and our library allows us to have not just physical books but also electronic books and audiobooks as well so there's some online resources and I'm gonna click through and you can get to watch me reserve a book or download a book or actually read a book and I'm actually doing this as well with my kids so they this is something that we have already been doing for a while since they introduced the service which I was pretty excited about so I wanted them to experience books so they experience physical books so we also have the physical books at home but they also have the option to um, read a book online at the same time what they're doing is they're learning their reading as well as computer skills so keeping that active as opposed to just viewing and consuming YouTube and shows I just want to make sure that I keep them engaged, keep them active, keep their brains growing and keep them curious to learn more each day. So I'm going to start, I'm going to click here. It's in French because I'm in a French province, but I'm going to click here. Just basically translates to electronic books. So this link opens up to two options, pretnumeric.ca or Overdrive. And I've been using Overdrive, so if you want the French books, you would go over here. And if you want the English books, they are found over here. And the good news is there's also an app that you can download on the App Store, and that's Libby. And it's free. It's a free app. And you can that's how you would read your book. You could read it on your laptop or on your phone. I also have Libby on my phone or on your tablets, whichever tablet you have. So let's go in and click on Overdrive. So I'm going to sign in. So I'm going to pause for a minute as I go in to sign in. Okay, great. So I'm all signed in now. And this is the home page. And you get to see already there's already um, popular books. And here's Libby that I mentioned. This is the app available in the App Store, Google Play, as well as Microsoft. And I think it's also available on the Fire Store. I'll scroll down just so you see there's a lot of variety. And it's just, it's pretty much what you're looking for. So here too hot to hold so this book is available so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it because a it's Michelle Obama and two it is um, her book becoming and I have um, previously taken it out but I can go ahead and do it now just for the purpose of demonstration you would just click borrow just like you would borrow a book at the library it tells you how many days you have it so I'm gonna borrow it for 21 days you can have it for 7, 14, 21. Let's go with 21 because if I take seven days and somebody else is on the waiting list for the book, then it means that I can't extend it. And if I haven't finished reading the book, you actually lose access to it. Although you've downloaded it onto the app, you kind of don't see it anymore once your days are up. So just keep that in mind. You're not buying the books. You don't own the books. It's just literally a library book electronically um taking it from the library and then they electronically take it back automatically um at the end of the time so that actually eliminates any late fees or you forgetting to take it back everything is automated so i'm going to go with 21 days the default i'm going to borrow the book so i'm clicking and it gives me the option to either download the ebook or read now in my browser and it gives me the end date so Becoming is checked out to you until April 7, 2020, and you can borrow eight more titles. So that's pretty awesome, but I'm going to be reading one book. But if let's say you have some research to do or there's eight people in your household or you want to borrow a book for a friend, this is an option that you can do. You can take eight books at a time. I'm going to go ahead and click here. So here, so you open up the book by clicking on it. So becoming Michelle Obama and you can read through.
Yeah, so just so that I don't break any copyright rules, I'm going to stop recording here. Uh, but this was just so you could see exactly what um, the book looks like once you're reading electronically and you can pick chapters and in there you can also uh, bookmark once you are in it and everything like that. So I'm going to go back because I want you to see the other options, um, the other options that you can have. I just picked Becoming because obviously I want to read it. Over here you have subject, so you can actually search by subject if there's any specific thing that you're looking for. So you can see all 900 titles, but yes, we're going to be home for quite a bit. I'm not going to read title by title. You also have audiobooks and you have ebooks, as I mentioned before. You have African American fiction, so there's different um, categories. You have fiction, nonfiction, so you have categories and then you have subcategories within the categories. And you can, there's pretty much anything you want to read. So let's go with sociology. We're pretty much, let me find something interesting. I'm going to do a different selection just so that I can give you a better view. Okay, so new kids edition. So what do they have in there that's for kids? Because that's one thing that a lot of parents are going to have to go through, how to keep their kids entertained with all this time on their hand. There's a series of books that my kids actually like. I'm going to go with biographies and autobiographies. As you can see, there's a lot of selection. So who is Disney? So I've already reserved this one. Um, it's actually out right now. So once it's back, I'll get an email notifying me that I can come back and actually borrow the book. So pay attention to that. Make sure you're signing up with an email address that you're actually going to check and get the alerts from. So who was Dr. Seuss? Who was Albert Einstein? Who is Malala? Who is Gandhi? Who was Blackbeard? Blackbird? Blackbeard. Blackbeard. I don't know who that is. Who was Anne Frank? Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? Jr.? Who were the Beatles? Who was Queen Elizabeth, Louis Armstrong, Michael Jackson, Bruce Lee, Sea Biscuit, Joan of Arc. So there's quite a bit to go through. So even if you took one of these, if you uh, borrowed one of these books a day, it would actually be a reading material that you can give your child. And at the same time, they get, they're learning history and they're, at the same time, they're improving on their reading, practicing their reading. This is in English. And like I said, there's an option for the French site as well. So they get to read in English and they get to do some reading even though they're not home. So at the same time, even if the stores are open, you don't have to go out and buy a whole ton of books. This is what this resource allows you to do. So again, check with your local library website because they're possibly closed right now and maybe they have the option available to you. and that would be something that you could take advantage of during this time. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow. Let me select a book that I actually want my daughter to read tonight. I'm going to go with who was Seabiscuit. Who was Seabiscuit? I've already borrowed it. So that one's already out. I don't want to borrow a book that I already have. So since I've already borrowed it and you got to see how to select a book, I'm going to go to loans. Okay. And you see, here's Michelle Obama, as you're aware, who was Seabiscuit? Funny story. Do you know who Seabiscuit is? Let's read and see who it is. So I'm going to read now in my browser. You click on the book to open the book. The book is by James Buckley Jr. So shout out to James Buckley Jr. 
and this is all the introduction title page dedication copyright I don't want to be infringed by copyright so I'm not gonna click on any of the items but maybe I can click on one how far along you've gone in your reading so let's say here I'm at page I don't know what page this is but you get to see how far you've gone you can go backwards by scrolling backwards and you can go forward by scrolling forward again I don't want to have any copyright issues so I'm just gonna scroll right up and let's read so I'm just gonna open it up over here let's read the title page dedication for all the underdogs in the world, no matter what type of animal you are. To my brother Chris, for his influence, inspiration, and support. I think I'm going to write a book before. That's another thing I'm going to do in this downtime. And I'll probably take a video uh, screen recording as well, so you can see how I get my book going. It would be my second book. Yeah. I think I should uh, get that going. Who was Sea Biscuit? I'm dying to know. Who was Sea Biscuit? On a foggy morning in the summer of 1936, horse trainer Tom Smith stood by a Boston racetrack called Suffolk Downs. And like I said, this is great reading material for children. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below. If you liked it, please make sure to give me a like and a subscribe so that I can keep recording throughout this break while we are all home and keep you entertained and give you something to um, read as well. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your evening and thanks for watching. <laughs>